Now, this is a second procedure and method that designers and electricians may use to determine the size of the overcurrent device to allow a motor to start and run based upon its design letter, which could be design A, B, C, uh, or D in most all cases. But we're going to look at design letters B, C, or D. Now, to do this, we would have to go to page 10 in the NEC, look at section 430.7A9, and it, it gives the permission there to use the design letters if we wish to do so, and it would work out in our design to start the motor and accelerate the load. And we would go to table 430.251 on page 334 of the code. Now, notice that uh, some information is given with the arrow pointed toward the motor. And notice this is a three-phase, 460-volt, 50-horse motor, uh, design B letter. And uh, uh, we can uh, pick up a single-phase uh, uh, starting currents for this motor based upon its design letter from table uh, uh, 430.48. But for three phase, then we would uh, need to look at the uh, table 430.251, and we would look at B around page 334 uh, in that area in your code book. And then notice in the step one, we apply uh, the, code, the design letter B, and we would uh, refer to our table 430.251 as instructed from 430.7A9 on around page 310 in the NEC. So, uh, based upon design B, step one in the illustration, we find 363 amp. And we could uh, round that up even to uh, 400 amps if you wanted to, divide it by three for a circuit breaker, and then round up to the next size circuit breaker. You could uh, take the 400 amps, divide it by five, and round up to the next size fuse. And these are good rule of thumbs to use without even having to go uh, necessarily to your code book. But again, you could always take the nameplate, whatever it is, like previously, 62 amps, round it up to an even unit of 1070, if your code letters are A through G, then you could multiply by 6, giving you the 420, divide it by 3 for a circuit breaker, round up to a, a next size circuit breaker, divide it by 5 for a fuse, and you could round up to the next size. Probably you could round up a couple sizes uh, using that method for the fuse. But that's what this illustration and this figure 18-22B as in boy is illustrating.